iCom just released version 1.41 of their firmware for the iCom 7300. And I'm excited because, you know, whenever iCom releases any kind of firmware update, there's usually something pretty good inside. Now, I've already taken a look at the, the release notes for this, and truth be told, there's not a whole lot that's there. Um, but we're going to take a look anyway. We're going to see what it looks like, and that'll help maybe you decide whether or not you want to take the time and go through this process to upgrade your 7300 to the latest firmware. So I'm going to show you what the uh, upgrades are, what they look like, and then we're going to go into how to do a firmware upgrade. So stay tuned. Hopefully you'll find something of value for you. All right, so the first change in the new firmware, it comes through the settings. But let's first take a look at the way it was way back when in version 1.40. So here we are in version 1.40 of the firmware. And if I go to menu and voice, and I have a particular piece of pre-recorded audio, in my, in my case here I have this testing audio, and I were to start to play that testing audio, you could see that it's playing if I turn the volume up. 3DS testing. Check one, two, check one, two, three. This is AC 3DS testing. This is only a test. And it will test go until two, it two, ends, two, and then it will cut this out. Is only a test. But let's say for the sake of argument that you wanted to end that piece of uh, pre-recorded audio prematurely, right? You wanted to end it in the middle of. So I'm going to hit play again. And again, here in version 1.4 of the software, if I click the push to talk button on my microphone, it doesn't do anything. It's continuing to play. The only way to stop it is actually to push uh, on the screen, push the button on the screen. Now in the new version of the software, that changes. In version 1.41 of the firmware, if we click on menu and then set, we can actually go to connectors. And then if we scroll down a little bit here, we're going to find one that says push to talk port function, which wasn't there before. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose push to talk input. If we choose push to talk input and then we go back out here and then we go back into voice. Now we go back to our same testing audio clip and we play that testing audio clip. And now it's playing. Testing, AC 3DS testing. And now one, two, two, if I three, press the push to talk AC. button, it immediately cancels the pre-recorded audio and cuts right back to listening or right into talking. Uh, but it, it ends the pre-recorded audio. So confirmed that function does work and it's actually pretty nice. So good job. All right, so the second piece of the firmware update says that when in the center mode of the spectrum scope screen, the ref level setting does not reflect the scope waveform during transmission. So let's take a look at what that did look like in version 1.40, and then we'll look at what it looks like in 1.41. So here we are in 1.40. Isn't it lovely? And now if we go ahead and, well, first of all, let's make sure that we're on the spectrum scope view, which obviously we are, and we are in the center version of this, the center mode. Uh, and then if we go to the, men oh, not menu, if we go to our first one here, and then we choose ref, uh, and we have a particular reference level, and we can change that. Uh, we can set the reference level however we choose. I'm gonna hold down define here. And then we key up. So I'm just going to key up and I'm just going to do some testing. This is AC3DS testing. 
test one, two, test one, two, three. This is Alpha Charlie three, Delta Sierra testing. Testing one, two, testing one, two, three. This is AC 3DS testing. Here we are in the 1.41 version of, this, of the firmware, and we're back in spectrum scope, and we are in the center mode, and here we have our reference, and when we key up and we talk now, this is AC3DS testing, AC3DS testing. Uh, the, again, the description from the firmware upgrade manual says that when in the center mode of the spectrum scope screen, the ref level setting does not reflect the scope waveform during transmission. So we're talking about the ref level here, and truth be told, I have no idea what they're talking about. And I, can, I, I have changed this back and forth numerous times, and I do not see what they're talking about or what the difference is in terms of the reflection of the scope waveform during transmission. I don't know. Maybe somebody else out there does. And if so, I would be thrilled if you could point it out to us. All right, so the third and final major change for this version 1.41 is that now when you upgrade the firmware on your 7300, it's no longer going to reset the settings uh, and memories for the unit. So, you know, you're, you're going to be in good shape. You won't have to reload them after the firmware has been upgraded. But if you're like me, you want to see things beyond just the major changes. And so I went back to ICOM and I went for the manual. And I was really surprised to find that they didn't have any kind of, um, you know, specifics just for version 1.401. They had actually combined 1.40 and 1.41 together, which is efficient for them, but it's really difficult in terms of knowing what the differences are. So I actually loaded it into, loaded the original 1.40 uh, and the new version, the new combined 1.40, 1.41 manual into Adobe Acrobat and ran the compare tool to see what the difference was between the two manuals to see if there's any other minor changes. Um, so I'm just kind of scrolling through here and showing you that really there's not really much of anything here um, some minor formatting stuff but nothing of of real consequence here for the most part um, the the first major thing that comes up is this uh, push to talk port function which you know as we've described um, you know what that does relative to um, you know ending the or canceling the the transmission of uh, recorded audio. I'm sure there's probably actually other functions that are possible with it, but that was the, that's the main one. Now, the next thing uh, of note in here, but wasn't men mentioned in the major uh, changes, is that there's new CIV uh, five controls. That's computer interface five. So it's remotely controlling the rig. And here you can see that added in ver version 1.41, the push to talk port function setting, and it's giving you both 00 and 01. So again, that's the same push to talk function that we just described, but now you're able to remotely control that function as well. Um, so again, kind of straightforward, but just something a little bit extra there. Uh, another thing that I did find was that there was some changes again in this this waveform information, um, and so you could see this this uh, diagram here that has uh, you know some very specific settings, and I think that this has to do with that whole center mode and the reflection, uh, but I'm not positive. I I don't know exactly. If somebody else is out, out there understands what these diagrams exactly mean and what they're doing um, and what these changes are, and m maybe you can you know help us understand. Um, but that's really it. Aside from those things, there's nothing else in the manual. Like no, there's no other minor changes that they you know t made mention of. If you're going to go through the process of upgrading the 7300, you're going to want to go to the icomjapan.com website, find the icom 7300, and then you're going to go to the support and download tab. From there, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're going to choose the firmware. Uh, you're just going to click where it actually says IC7300. 
and you'll be able to download the latest version of the firmware. Uh, so you'll scroll all the way to the bottom of this page. Notice right there in the notes, that is where you can get the, the manual, the, the information, the updates uh, for the versions of the firmware. Uh, but you'll scroll to the bottom, you'll check the box to, uh, you know, to agree and then download. For me, uh, being on a, an Apple computer, it was a zip file and then it extracted into a dat file which i then loaded onto the sd card and had to move it into the ic7300 folder on the uh, on the sd card and you can see i have both the 1.40 and the 1.41 there before we do the firmware upgrade we're going to want to save all of our settings so let's do that now menu set sd card save setting new file clear this out i'm going to call this july and then i'm going to do a space and i'm going to do 21. i'm going to click enter save file yes good it's saved now i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to unmount this particular card click say yes unmount is complete which then i'm just going to back out of this here take the card out so my settings are saved onto this card and now i have a different card looks identical that is the one with the firmware upgrade on it i'm going to then go back into menu i'm going to choose set i'm going to choose sd card i'm just going to take a look and see if this actually loaded sd card info so good it knows that there's a card in there and now i'm going to go and choose where is it here firmware update okay it says hey just so you know it's risky i know do you agree yes depending on the version all settings and memories may be lost make a backup on the sd card first sure we'll make a backup on this card and it did that same thing now it's saying hey which version of the firmware update do you want to do well 1.40 is the previous version and 1.41 is the version that I'm doing now. Um, notice there's these files, the dot underscore files. That's because it was loaded on from a Mac and it's a remnant and anyway, you don't need to worry about those two things there. What we want is the 7300 underscore 141. I'm going to choose that one. And then I'm going to say yes to the firmware update. Oh, that's right. This is the long hold. Gonna go through the update. Uh, firmware up updating has completed. Now I can see we're at 141. My RF power went back to zero and everything is still good. I still see here's a particular uh, frequency that I had saved with a name there. So I know that my settings are all saved. All right, well, there you have it. You know, this particular upgrade is not full of bells and whistles. Um, but again, that's not terribly surprising considering that it's not a, you know, a major firmware upgrade. Um, but we'll take it, right? You know, each little incremental improvement probably helps, you know, a lot of people out there. Um, and maybe this, this one does help you and I'm just not fully grasping, you know, some of the, the nuances that are involved maybe in the remote operation with those CIV protocols. Uh, obviously, I, I did not fully grasp what was happening as far as the, the center mode and the reflecting of the waveform. If you do, if this, some, this is something that makes perfect sense to you, you know exactly what they're referring to, please leave a comment down below and share it with the community so that way others can benefit from uh, your knowledge. As always, thank you for watching and I hope that this was helpful. Until next time. That was cleaner. <laughs>